Hi, thanks for watching. Absolutely amazing considering the tense combat. I mean, Mr. Cab literally played just about a perfect game there. And with that, we do have Mr. Cab here in the commentator's booth with us. GG, boy, what a time. The sec why couldn't this be the first seed? Wow. I know, right? Hey, by the way, it's it's two in a row. For those of you who were playing the uh, Name That Tune for the recorder theme, remember what I always say? When in doubt, guess a Super Nintendo RPG. Well, guess what? Cyan from Final Fantasy VI qualifies as a Super Nintendo RPG. But yeah, Mr. Cap, well done. What a time. Yeah, this seed just kind of worked out, unlike the first one. Uh, getting the key early meant there was no resource constraints. Uh, I forget what order I found things, but I think I, I was in go mode with like four Triforces to get or something like that. Yeah, it was absolutely insane. It was like 25 minutes in, you were already in Triforce and go mode. I think the only thing that stopped you from getting an even faster time was level six. That was oh. just a nasty, nasty level to get through the the super ultimate uh, magical breakfast platter and then eight blue wizard robes. You definitely made the right play by going back for that potion and then... You had the extra potion handy in level 9 in case you needed it. Turns out you didn't really need it. You, man, you played this seed just about as perfect as you could have, Mr. Cab. That was amazing. Yeah, blue whiz robes are just the worst. That's why it was get a potion, go to the fairy, get some bombs, go in there, and just go to town on them with the red ring. And what, what's that white sword doing all the way up there anyway? Come on! I could have used always that. Always in level 9. It's always in level 9, man. <laughs> ah... anything different or was this just the way randomizer goes sometimes no I, I think this was just kind of the way it uh it shook itself out i mean uh I, i've got my little plan right do level three do level one first check armos and it, it the only unfortunate thing about this right was that the first two the first dungeons i checked th three of the first ones were eight and six which were just i couldn't really do them eight admittedly was only bomb blocked but uh one was nice and then from there this this seed just worked uh, I'm, I'm, I've got the overworld route, and from there it's just play percentages and go.
Well, I'll tell you, a 46 is stackable against anybody in this tournament. I would not want to race a, a, a 46. Um, that was insanely impressive to see. And, I mean, give due credit where it's due. J-Lo, our, our other our runner-up in today's match, played amazing. Um, just the way Randall worked, he couldn't get those items in the same order you did. And you were already in go mode, you know, ridiculously early. It was very impressive to see. Oh, well, thanks, man. So, unfortunately, that does mean that J-Lo's tournament in the brackets will be coming to an end tonight. Um, amazing job throughout the tournament, and great to see him in the tournament this time around, and he gave you a great match in, in round one. Uh, before we get more into round two, I just wanted to get your thoughts on your next round. You'll be moving on to race Cabin in the next round. Your thoughts, if any? Uh, no, no thoughts. I just don't know Kevin. Uh, I think I saw his name on at least like the commentary sheet for the first round. So maybe I'll go back, watch that, get his thoughts there, see what's in his head. But, uh, yeah. Absolutely, man. You just absolutely destroyed this seed here, Mr. Kevin. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with JSR's assessment there. That time is competable against anybody i mean even crystal saver i don't i don't even know if crystal saver gets a 46 in a seed like this it was just absolutely amazing performance you put up tonight mr cab yeah it just comes down to that blue wizard room for that uh and there was like i i think I, the screen was halfway scrolled up and then i heard ganon at like the last minute there <laughs> otherwise we would have had a much longer nine yeah with no bombs to your oh, that's God. even more impressive. You didn't have any bombs going into level nine, and normally level nine's a game of find the bomb hole, and that didn't end up being a factor for you. Either. I mean, you saw me that's pausing on the way and killing that blue Octorok. I'm like looking at the bush over there. All right, what was in the shop at the forgotten spot? I have meat written down. I would have written down bombs if that. I'm like thinking, where's the bomb shop? It must be the rare shop at this point. But oh. You know, I don't even think we saw a bomb shop, did we, JSR? Off the top of my head, it's kind of hard to recall. I know we saw him in, in race number one. I'm trying to remember if we did. I imagine we did. But, it might be at the arrow shop, uh, which would have been the candle, vanilla candle shop. But I don't think I saw him, which means it's got to be the rare shop. Had to be. I, did, I, I, I would have mentioned the price of bombs. I'm... I'm certain that had to be the rare shop. Yeah, because I would. I, I was like thinking on my way to level three, like, oh, where's the bomb shop? Maybe I could just buy a few. Oh God, what am I gonna do? Otherwise, I would have been going back to level one to farm them. I guess. Those gorillas right outside. One hit gorillas on the overworld in both seeds. My goodness, can we get that every seed too? I know, right? <laughs> yeah, very nice. Uh, at least for the overworld in uh, your bomb troubles, but. Man, that, that second seed had so many difficult rooms of combat and so many whiz robes and just so many. That level eight was a like nothing but bosses. The entire level eight was just a big boss rush. And what was, like in general, your thoughts on this seed compared to the other one as far as how that other one was just so trolly? I mean, this one could have been just as bad depending on how you did it. Yeah, that, that first one was just awful. I never want to see it again. Although at the same time, I kind of want to see the Routers Relish uh, group where they, they kind of get their week to route out a seed, take that first seed on. Because I, I feel like they could cut the 40 on that easily enough. That, that one is just, if you know where the ladder is and if you know where the raft is in the first one, you could have gotten through that a lot faster. That All the time was spent looking for the ladder. Uh, this seed... I mean, eight was if you had a bomb. I, I what do I have here marked off? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have ten rooms marked off on this map for level eight. This this eight was easy. Six was the impossible combat. Uh, yeah, maybe it was just a combat seed, and just whiz robes are my are my kryptonite. Yeah, whiz robes are a lot of people's kryptonite, and usually it's not because of the whiz robes themselves, but they're often accompanied, like in this seed, they're often accompanied by bubbles. Ugh. 
And Lionel's this time, too. Yeah, yeah. that room before the 8th Blue Wizard room, that was absolutely nuts. The ultimate magical breakfast room. Yikes. But you did really well in it, both times. That was magical breakfast with, with uh, some sausage running around. My goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, right. <laughs> Hearty magical breakfast. Yeah, you got it. As in it eats your hearts. Ugh. <laughs> I didn't have that when I went into it, and then I heard it, and I just, no, no, we're done here. Certainly. Yeah. I can't do better than that. We better go out on a high note. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. You went out tonight on a high note, but your tournament is not over yet because, as again, as JSR mentions, you our next opponent in the round of 64 is going to be Kevin, and I think it's going to be a good, and I think you're going to put up a good fight. Yeah, I'll, we'll see what I can do. Uh, I, 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 I think these two seeds kind of showed it off a little bit, like, if things go right, I'll fly through things. If things go wrong, well, we might be here a while. Sounds like Zelda randomizer. <laughs> Doesn't it, though? <laughs> well, I think you showed everybody that you are definitely a force to be reckoned with and somebody that nobody should take lightly. Anybody who can put a time up like that in a seed like this is somebody to keep an eye on, and I am, for one, excited to see how the rest of your tournament goes. Thank you very much, both of you guys, for a really awesome and entertaining race tonight. I thank you so much. Yeah, and uh, th thanks you, thanks to both of you for commentating. Thanks Speed Gaming and everybody here for uh, putting us on. And uh, yeah, thanks everybody who organized this mess too. My goodness, I don't envy you. All right, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Cav, and we wish you the best of luck in your next match. Thanks. I'll, I'll try to live up to expectations. All right, sounds good. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Cap55, everyone, make sure you give him and also JLo7 a follow as well. They did a tremendous job tonight, and those were not easy seeds, ladies and gentlemen. Those were some brutal seeds that these runners were dealt tonight. Absolutely. I mean, we saw blue rings and potions required at certain points. That level six was brutal and tons of difficult combat. Bosses galore. But our runners did very well tonight, and I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed. And that's the thing about this randomizer tournament laws. Any of these races could be like that. It's anybody's game, and it's just that person who gets either a little lucky or puts in the work and learns what to do and handles it like we saw tonight. I mean, that was just brilliant play. I can't wait to see the next match. Me neither. And uh, as I always like to say, JSR... Zelda Randomizer doesn't care who you are. Anybody can win at any given time, and any runner, I don't care how good you are, any runner can get trolled at any time as well. So, yeah, as you mentioned, definitely anyone's game at any match. Absolutely. And for those of you out there who want to see more Zelda 1 Randomizer, this is round one of the bracket stage of what's going to be a tremendously entertaining month of October. We're just getting started here. Round one is fresh in, just getting going. And make sure you follow both the Randomania and Speed Gaming Network of channels to be able to catch all of this content as well as much more from your favorite speed games. And Laws, I'm excited. I definitely, I, I need to go walk this off for a minute. I'm going to let you take us out of here, brother. All right, sounds good. Before we uh, leave you tonight, I do want to point out that there are two matches that have just gotten underway here. One that's on Randomania between Balletta and Ben Glass Tube. One that's in progress on Speed Gaming 2 between Tetra Lee and Leslie Pro 04. That is a game three right there. Winner take all. Moving on to the next round of the tournament. And the loser, unfortunately, we will be saying goodbye to them. Also, a little bit later on at 11 p.m. Eastern, we have a two-pack of races here on Speed Gaming. It is the Greenleaf Effect versus Hi, I'm Enamel. And on Speed Gaming 4, it is Truant Gamer and Chrono JJ. So with that, that's going to wrap things up for us here on Speed Gaming 4. On behalf of our two racers, Mr. Cap55 and JLo7. On behalf of our tracker, Crimson Avix. On behalf of the, our commentator partner for the first race, Kevin856. And on behalf of my broadcast partner, JSR, well done on both of the races, my friend. You did a really, really good job. Thank you very much, Lars, as well as you. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. So with that, I'm LOZ Cards Fan 23 For everybody here in our Speed Gaming family of networks, have yourselves a great evening, and we will see you 
later on tonight, Truant Gamer and Chrono JJ are coming up here on Speed Gaming 4. So long, everybody. Thanks for watching, everybody, over here, too. Uh, wow. A couple of seeds. This was crazy. This time was really good. Like I said, I, I saw I was in go mode at like 25 minutes and whatever it was. And I was like, oh, God, what's going on? So uh, this was good. Back to uh, probably Bloodstained and, and Comet Striker tomorrow. Good night, folks. Thanks for watching.